Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to this video titled Fractions, Decimals, and Percents. And I want you to open up your math books and turn to page 315, get out your math journal, calculator, and a pencil. So the goal for this lesson is to be able to write more equivalent fractions, decimals, and percents. So we're just going to do a few practice problems together, and I would like you to turn your math books to page 317. We'll do a few of these problems together on page 317. So what we are doing on 317 is we're practice expressing fractions or mixed numbers as percents. So what we're going to do is try to figure out number four. Let's look at that together. We're trying to figure out four and 20 fifths is going to equal what percent. So what we can do with this problem is we're going to set it up as a proportion. So we take that 24 20 fifths and that's going to equal x we don't know the percent over 100 so you set this up as a proportion remember the total amount is always going to equal 100 there so what we do now is we take 24 times 100 and that's going to give me 2400 and then we take that 2,400 and we divide it by 25. And that's going to equal 96. So we can see that 24 25ths is going to equal 96% for that problem. Again, setting it up like a proportion like I did, make sure the denominator is in line with the 100. Because that's the total amount equaling 100% cross multiply and then divide and you'll be able to find the percentage that the fraction equals. Let's take a look at number six. So that's a mixed number which can be a little tricky. Don't get too intimidated by this. First thing we need to do with the mixed numbers we've got to make it an improper fraction. So we take the denominator and multiply it by the whole number. Eight times one is eight plus seven is fifteen. I'm going to write a little bit higher here and you can write it in there as well. Fifteen eighths. Now again, we're looking at this as a percentage. So we take 15 eighths, and that's going to equal a certain percentage over 100. Remember, the denominator has to line up with the 100, because the total amount always equals 100%. So we take cross multiply, 15 times 100. Let's write this out. Is going to equal 1,500. Now what we do is we take the 1,500. We divide the 8 by it. And you can see that's going to give us 187.5%. Or you can even write it as 187 and one half of a percent. So you can see with a mixed number, you got to change it into an improper fraction first and then just set it up as a proportion and work the problem out that way. Now we're going to jump over to page 319. And what we're going to do is practice expressing decimals as percents. So if you remember from the last video, we went from percents to decimals. And whenever you go from a percent to a decimal, you divide by 100. So that means you move the decimal two places to the left. Going from decimals to percents, we multiply by 100. So because of that, we take the decimal and move it two places to the right. So let's look at number three together. So we have 98 hundredths. And for this problem, we are multiplying that decimal by 100 to get the percent. So all you need to do is take that decimal, move it two places to the right, and we have 98 hundredths is going to equal 98%. Pretty simple. Number four, six tenths. Take that decimal point, move it two places to the right. There's one, and there's two places. So whenever we're moving around an invisible number, you always drop a zero for that invisible number. And that's going to give us 60%. So 1 in 5 tenths, what does that equal as a, as a percent? 
we take that decimal and move it two places to the right. There's one place and there's two places going around that invisible number. That's going to give us 150% there. So again, decimal to a percent, it's as simple as moving that decimal two places to the right. Wherever it may be, it's two places to the right. So there will be a few other concepts we, that we will learn when we look at fractions, decimals, and percents for Lesson 6.2. But this concludes the video on fractions, decimals, and percents. If you have any questions about either of these concepts, please come and see me.